Monday, August 3rd, 2015, and happy Esther Day. And what is Esther Day? I'd never heard of Esther Day before Saturday. On Saturday night, I was watching the latest Vlogbrother video where Hank Green is talking about paper towns and how he enjoyed it. I don't do this often on videos, but I just happened to scroll to the comments below and I saw a couple people talking about Esther Day. And oftentimes in the comments when I'm reading something that I don't really know what it is, I just kind of move on. But there was enough people and I had just just little enough to do in the moment that I decided to look up what in the world is Esther Day. It's actually a nerd fighteria holiday. It was started in 2010. It's a holiday about showing and sharing one's love for friends. It's sort of like Valentine's Day except for not romantic love. For all of the other people that are important to us. I suppose it's important to show one's love for all of those others who are important, not just those we are romantically interested in. And I said suppose, but I mean it is. And oftentimes I don't do a very good job of that. And I think a lot of my friends and my family don't do it either. And I think it's easy not to do that because it's sort of assumed. And a lot of times I think we appreciate that. and and. We don't want to clog up every phone call. Oh, hey, love you, man. Yeah, I love you, man. I, we just talked five minutes ago. Yeah, but I love you again, man. And that, that can get a little overwhelming and overbearing. And it's also hard to know exactly how to say it in the right way. You don't want to overuse the term and kind of lessen its meaning to you and to them. Anyway, I do think it's just very important that we do show love and appreciation for each other. Uh, but a little more background on the holiday. Uh, there was this nerd fighter uh, back in 2010 who was very outspoken and was well connected in nerd fighteria. John Green approached this nerd fighter, Esther, about uh, how they should celebrate her birthday. And she said, uh, I want this to be a day of love and showing love for all of her friends and family. She uh, soon died thereafter from thyroid cancer and was partially the inspiration for the fault in our stars in this nerd fighter's memory we celebrate and share our love for one another so isaac and jt you are some of my best friends thank you for vlogging with me for being pancakes with me and being my best friends throughout college i don't want to name drop here but there are so many people that I really appreciate having in my life and I truly do love and want them to be well. In my immediate family, I have my brothers and I have my parents and I have my step parents and I have several other friends that's harder to list generally in that friend label without naming people particularly Nathan and Cameron, my best friends from high school. Cameron, it's very easy not to see him because he's in Texas, but my friend Nathan lives very close to me and I don't see him very often because I don't know whether I'm just lazy or he's also lazy and we just don't talk enough. I, I don't know. I always do enjoy spending time with him and I always say, man, we should do this more and I truly mean it and then nothing happens and I just hope that we continue to appreciate that we do care for each other. And for anyone that's wondering, yes, I consider Savannah to be one of my friends too. We do a lot of things together that me and my other friends do together like play video games and go see movies and talk about life's interesting quandaries like what are the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of those with a bachelor's degree. So Savannah, as one of my best friends, I love you too. Man, I, I guess in this moment the best thing I can do is just say that I have a lot of great people who care about me and I get to spend my life with and I really appreciate all of you. Happy yesterday, everyone.